Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I've got an interesting video for you today. We're going to talk about Lake Mead today. We're going to talk about Hoover Dam. And I'm going to bring some numbers to you, letting you know how low Lake Mead is. Right now, I am at Hoover Dam in Nevada. This water level is lower than I've ever seen it in my life. It hasn't been this low in over 1,200 years. Right now, we're looking at the four intakes. And for this to be an active pool turbine, those intakes have to have a minimum of 1,050 feet of water. The current water level above sea level right now is 1,040 feet. That's 10 feet below active pool. So that means these four intakes are in a state of inactive pool. If the water level drops down below 895 feet, this will become a dead pool lake and that's no good that means that the water does not have the ability to flow downstream and this is stagnant water so it's a big big issue that we're dealing with here in lake mead at hoover dam from what i understand the electricity that is generated here at hoover dam provides over 36 percent of the electrical needs for Las Vegas, Nevada. There has been water in this area which would come over here, get into this portion, and it would flow into there. Now this, as you can see, is bone dry and it's been in this state for quite some time because if you look over at the intakes, those things, you know, the water levels, I've never seen it in this state before. It's very concerning. So if you look on the wall over there, you can see where the water level used to be. The water would come over this spillway and it would go right down into there. And as we can clearly see, we haven't been there in a long, long time. So take a look down here. That is crazy. I have never seen it even close to this low in my whole life. What a magnificent project this must have been to build this. Amazing. I mean, even looking down at the bottom, you see how small those cars are. That is just crazy. And then of course up top, that's the highway now. That is just nuts. Crazy. This is a magnificent structure. Wow. blows me away so I'm just praying for rain I mean these things are crazy to see it that low everybody out there please pray for moisture so that we can bring these levels back up. I don't think people truly understand the significance of what's going on here. This is not just about electricity to Las Vegas. This is about water. What is the one thing that people need, human beings need to live? Water. 
Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, California, and even parts of Colorado depend on this water to stay alive. So I'm going to be praying very much that we get rain and that it fills these reserves back up so that we don't go Deadpool. This is a significant concern. Just think about this for a second. Water. We cannot survive without water. It's essential to life. Three days without water, you die. So I used to rock climb and heights never really scared me. Look at this guy behind me. These are really the heroes of Hoover Dam. The people that went down on ropes, hundreds and hundreds of feet, where a single slip or accident could result in their death. Crazy. That is just absolutely crazy. And when I was on the dam itself, there was a couple times that I got like, ooh, the magnitude of the height, it was, it was overwhelming. Oh, look at this. And I wish I could have got here sooner while there was still daylight, but I've been driving all day to get here. Wow. Magnificent. Ah, it's time to get out of here. It's warm still. Still probably a hundred out right now. One thing I want to recommend, if you're watching this video, is please don't quote my numbers. Take them like a grain of salt. Go do the research yourself. I believe my numbers to be accurate. If there's any discrepancies, I'll put it in the description box or I'll pin it in a comment. Well, folks, I hope you appreciated this video. I did a lot of hiking for this one. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video, share this video. And until next time, have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.